गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम ए प्रशांत राव लेक्चर इन इंग्लिश फ्रॉम प्लस टू नालंदा साइंस प्लस टू साइंस कॉलेज नालंदा बैरमपुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वन ऑफ द चैप्टर्स फ्रॉम आवर इंग्लिश वन द प्रोज The second chapter, the legend behind a legend written by Hari Haran Balakrishna. So far as the Hari Haran Balakrishna is concerned, he is a writer, he is a columnist, and he writes many editorials in different newspapers, and his articles are published in. the literary pages of uh, hindu and this particular a legend behind a legend is in our course that is about two legends he is talking about and both are complementary to each other a legend behind a legend so who is that legend who made another a legend so from this chapter we will understand that there must be a legend behind a legend so who is he is talking about that we will discuss from this piece of prose that is in the form of a an article okay so a legend is a story or a narrative about a very famous person okay a person who is famous by his virtues by his activities he is known to be a legend so about whom he is talking that that is the importance of this chapter okay so in the first line of the text he introduces one character khair khair made the entire forest where she live famous so this is she so it made the forest famous and due to khair as that forest became famous khairi became famous she was not a bandit queen but khairi she was not a bandit queen okay because this is about the forest so bandit queens are generally found in forest but he is not she is not a bandit queen but a tigress but a tigress of जसीपुर टाइगर्स ऑफ जसीपुर ओके एंड सी लिव्स इन द फॉरेस्ट इट इज एक्सैक्टली ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव इयर्स एगो वेन आई स्पेंड टू डेज एंड टू नाइट विथ खैरी एंड द मेनेग्रीज ऑफ सोरोज एंड निहार सो मेनेग्री मेनेग्री मीन्स Manegri means uh, this is a small kind of zoo, small kind of zoo where different kinds of animals are put together. That is called manegri. Okay, this is not like a zoo, but a zoo where different kinds of animals of different species are kept together, and that was. Created by Soros and Nihar, and here another character comes, Soros, Nihar. Okay, so here it is Khairi, another is Soros. So in the first paragraph itself, he introduces these two Khairi and Soros. Okay, and I have read a small news item in the Statesman about the latest. Of a domesticated tiger, tigress 
in the Similipal forest of Odisha. So, about Khairi and Surajana Chaudhary, as he was a journalist, as he was a columnist, he came to know about them in a newspaper statesman. Okay, so different stories about the exploits of uh, these uh, tigress, he read and came to know about that and he became curious. And that curiosity brought him to this report. That is, later known as Khairi Jasipur. This Jasipur is a place and due to Khairi, this Jasipur became famous and that was turned to be called Khairi Jasipur. Okay, so this is the introduction how Sarodra Chaudhary came to know about Khairi. And uh, Hariharan Balakrishnan is the writer of uh, this legend behind a legend title topic. Okay. So he came to know about Hariharan Balakrishnan came to know about Saroj and Khairi through a newspaper statesman. Okay. And then suddenly it took it struck me that this was happening in my own state and I thought why not attempt to experience it myself? So he became curious. And being curious, he wanted to know more about this Saroj and Khair. Okay, the tigress. So he wanted to make a plan to meet Saroj Chaudhary. So being a journalist, he inquired about Saroj, Saroj Chaudhary. And he, what he found, I thought, why not attempt to experience it myself? So he wanted to experience himself. Okay, to go and meet Sarodra Chaudhary and see the exploits of the Tigers. I spoke to N.S. Ayanga, a senior journalist in Bharatpur. Okay, so he talked. He talked to his colleague, okay, from Bharatpur. NS Ayanga and a few other elders and what he learned from them. I was told that Khairi was under the care of a rather gruff and tough man called Sarojara Chaudhary. So when he inquired, when he inquired about this Khairi, he came to know and other his colleagues told him that Sarojara Chaudhary was not an ordinary man. He was very strict by his nature. Okay, gruff and rough. That means rough and tough man. Okay, so when he came to know about that, he became very cautious. Okay, so being cautious, what he did? He got his address and wrote a letter to him. Okay, and another, his colleagues warned him cautioned him that Sarojara Chaudhary who brooked no nonsense and uh, suffered no fools. So here one thing comes into our mind that he was a rough and tough man. Okay. Gruff and tough. Okay. He was gruff and tough man. This is about Sarojara Chaudhary. And again, he was warned that he brooked no nonsense. He brooked no nonsense and suffered. No fools. So, what is about this statement? This statement is he never allowed any such nonsense. Okay, because he knew that these journalists, okay, would go to anybody and ask different, several irrelevant questions. 
so he never allowed any such person to meet him okay unnecessarily who come to kill him time so he was very rough and tough by nature and did not allow anybody to meet him okay to interfere in his business okay so when harihar balakrishnan came to know about sarojara choudhary that he was very tough and uh, rough man he became very cautious and he collected his address and wrote a letter okay and i got his address and wrote asking if i could visit him for good matters for good matters being fortunate okay to his good fortune for good matters i refer to a few itinerant articles itinerant what do you mean by itinerant itinerant means uh, this is a whole detail whole detailed account of visiting a new place okay so this is called itinerant whole detailed account of visiting a new place so he had published so many itinerants about uh, different places in odisha in different uh, uh, in the country so he referred some of his creations some of his writings and some of his articles those were published in the magazines okay for his own reference okay so that was his introduction so he introduced himself in the letter that he was a journalist and he was a writer okay and it was a shot in the dark it was a shot in the dark a shot in the dark a shot in the dark the meaning of this uh, phrase shot in the dark that means he was not sure he was not sure that what reply would come to him okay in return in reply okay so this was only just a casual approach uh, uh, to write a letter to sarodara choudhary without any hope of uh, any reply okay so he calls it uh, it was a shot in the dark and i did not really expect to hear from him without any expectation because he was a rough and tough man and he was a very busy person so he never expected anything from sarodara choudhary but to my utter delight utter delight utter delight means much happiness okay to his much happiness he got a letter in reply from sarodara choudhary so i got a letter within a week inviting me to kanjita sipur giving precise instructions about how to reach there so in that letter sarodara choudhary wrote everything and invited him to kanjita sipur and wrote in detail about how he should reach there because that was a new place okay and he gave all the details of uh, reaching there how to reach there okay so this is like a good fortune to him okay he felt himself uh, fortunate when he got the letter from sarodara choudhary mr choudhary also asked me to let him know in advance how and when i was reaching here you see from this statement from this slide you can understand that how considerate sarodara choudhary was okay and how considerate and how he was very specific by his nature so he wanted to know in in advance when that means when and how okay and i gave him a date and said i would be taking a bus from bhubaneswar on a particular night so in reply 
Balakrishnan also wrote a letter, okay, about uh, all the information about, about his uh, plans, how he was uh, planning to reach that Khairidashipur. Okay, so this is about our first uh, unit, and in this first unit, we are introduced about uh, Suradra Chaudhary and Haryanan Balakrishnan, the narrator. Okay, and how he was very much curious to go there, what made him so curious, and as people told him about Surudra Chaudhary, from the response to his letter, he understood that how uh, that means a gentle Surudra Chaudhary was. But this is only before he met the personality. Yes, so after he met Surudra Chaudhary, what happens and how he finds uh, the person? Yes, that we will find in our second unit. Okay, this is about our first unit, and in the second unit, we will proceed that how he reached that, how he reached that to Khairi Jasipur. This is about uh, unit 2. In unit 2, we came to know, I packed my bag, so Balakrishna, the narrator, packed his bag, took the train and boarded the overcrowded bus from Bhuvaneswar. Okay, so he went to Bhuvaneswar from Narampur in an overcrowded, sorry, uh, he went to Bhuvaneswar in a train and from there, from Bhuvaneswar, he boarded a overcrowded bus. Okay. And there, at Jasipur, he arrived sometime before 4 a.m. early in the morning. Okay, in the dark morning, he arrived there, wondering where to go in that uh, semi-darkness. So then, at 4 o'clock, it was semi-darkness. And there, he was in confusion where to go. Because that was a lonely place, that was a small place. Okay, and there he was just deciding whether to stay there or to go somewhere to take rest. Okay, to wait uh, till the morning comes. So at the meantime, what happens? To my utter surprise, within a minute, there was a click of boots and a voice welcoming me to Khairi Jasipur. So here, he, in that silence, he could uh, listen to the click of boots somebody's footsteps proceeding towards him, approaching towards him. Okay, and he was from the forest guard. Okay, and he was the forest guard, detailed to escort me, took me to the guest house, put me in my room, assured that water was in the truck. I could sleep as long as I wanted and some would see me as soon as I was ready. So, here, from this statement, you can understand how a detailed arrangement, a thorough arrangement was made to receive, to invite Balakrishna to that place, Khairi Jasipur. And all these things are made, are done by Sorodra Chodhi. So how benevolent he was. Okay. How particular he was in his action. Okay. So, and how he was so punctual in his work. It is found here. And that forest guard, escorted him, took him to a guest house and where he made all the arrangements for him for a uh, better sleep, okay, for a small rest and then he provided, arranged water for him in a jug and he assured him to sleep as long as he liked, okay, as long as he liked, he was given time to sleep and when he could be free, when he could feel comfortable, he could meet Sorajra Chaudhary at any point of time. Then I think I had an hour of blissful sleep. Blissful. Blissful means comfortable. Okay. So in that early morning, in that early morning, okay, he 
could get a blissful sleep. So, whatever tired he was, however he was tired, he forgot everything. Okay, and he felt relaxed, very comfortable in that guest room. And I woke up with a start when I heard the unmistakable voice of oh, the tiger just outside my door. And his sleep was broken by a stutter of oh, the tiger's roar. Okay, so just outside the wall, just outside the room, he heard the voice of oh, a tiger. And he was lonely in the room. Okay, he was lonely in the room and he had never expected such a role of a tiger there. So, he was stuttered, he was shocked. Okay, and out of fear, he was there in the room with confusion and I was terror struck. I was terror struck, that means he was full of fear. Okay, then within minutes, within minutes he got up and he was thunderstruck. Because he was alone in the room and he had never expected such thing to happen. Okay, and he should be welcomed by a tiger's roar. So in the meantime, within minutes, a bear came to the room with a hot tea and biscuits. And in the morning, when he got up, the bear entered the room and he had brought with him some biscuits and teas for his refreshment. Okay, and he smiled at the expression on my face. So, the bearer was smiling because he understood, he read the terror in his face and he smiled and introduced that tigress and said, it was only Khairi outside the door making friendly inquiries about the new guest in the house. Yes. So he introduced that that was Khairi, the tigress, who was outside the room and greeting Balakrishna, greeting Balakrishna, okay, the guest of that day. And whoever may be the guest comes to that uh, place, the tiger is the first to greet him and that is its style, okay, as narrated by the beer, the pure. I finished my tea, had a quick shower and went to the main house. And in the meantime, he was relaxed. He came to know about Khairi though he did not see. He did not see her. Okay, he understood that how friendly, how uh, that means uh, hostly the tigers he was. And now, Sorajra Chaudhary was sitting on a large chair. Okay, so he entered, he went to meet Sorajra Chaudhary and then he found Sorajra Chaudhary sitting in a large chair. And in what position he was sitting? Here is the description. There was a sloth bear behind him. Sloth. Sloth means lazy. Sloth means lazy. There was a bear behind him. Okay, there was a bear standing behind Surajra Chaudhary and how it was uh, standing? Holding him from back. Okay, holding Surajra Chaudhary from back. So, what a horrible scene. What a horrible sight he found Surajra Chaudhary in the room in his first uh, meeting. There was a sloth bear behind him holding on to his waist and making gurgling sounds. So how horrible it was. Okay, that morning he started with a roar of the tigress outside the room and here he, meet, he met Sorodhara Chaudhary with a sloth bear gurgling. Okay, and what a fearful scene it was. Get down Jambu, get down and rose to greet him, greet me and then Sorodhara Chaudhary when he entered the room, entered into the room, he asked that bear to get down okay and stood to invite him a frail man in his 50s okay frail weak okay frail means weak 
and he was uh, in his 50s in his 50s means uh, 51 to 59 this is called 50s okay so he was uh, around uh, that uh, 50s okay that uh, from his appearance it was seen it was understood that he was in his 50s and uh, slightly bald on the top this was uh, the appearance okay and he was bald headed we got talking so then in their first meeting they started talking to each other i didn't find a gruff and rough no nonsense man so when he talked with uh, swanandra chaudhary he did not find anything such was uh, described by his colleagues okay that his uh, colleagues had described him narrated him okay and warned him that he was a very rough and tough man he never uh, or gave opportunity to any such journalist who wanted to make them fool okay and he never uh, allowed any such person to kill his time but when he went and he talked to him he did not find anything such in that man he was a quite gentle in his nature okay so he said here a frail man in his 50s slightly bald on his top we got talking i didn't find a gruff and rough no nonsense man no nonsense no nonsense means gentle no nonsense means sensible with full of sense very sensible man okay who knows who understands others feelings he is called sensible so no nonsense means sensible so what i found was one of the most human human being okay human human beings i had ever met in my life human human being so here you see h u m a n and h u m a n e these are two meanings with e and without e so the difference between human that means this is being and human means uh, this is the quality of a human being so what is the quality of a human being that is humanity that means human with humanity human with humanity that means he was a human like a human okay that's why he describes after his meeting he came to know that sarojara choudhary was the most human human being okay so he was a human being like a human being having all the qualities of a human being okay so you must know that what is the quality of a human being he must be sensitive he must be sensible he must be compassionate okay he must be what understanding so all these qualities are found in that man so in this course of uh, the story what we find about one person that is sarojara choudhary okay he may be one of the legends in this story but what is about another legend that we will discuss in our next session okay in our third and the remaining units thank you thank you very much